This is an image of the chocolate girl from 1743 to 1744, pastel on parchment. And I've been working on this as a diamond painting for a long time because the image, this is a digital image of the original painting. So um, if you blow it up, you can see the details and there would be a lot of confetti. And there is a lot of confetti. Here, oh, I'm going to move it this way. Wow, she's really gorgeous. Look at the detail. The, the hairs right here. They're not going to show up on her, on the diamond painting. And the eyelashes. Oh my goodness, such talent. But you can see the walls kind of speckled. That just creates a lot of confetti. So I'm going to solidify the walls somewhat. Or maybe, maybe try um, just cutting down on the colors on the wall. And this lace here on her corset, that is not going to show up on the diamond painting, those details. I'll show you my diamond painting in a minute. The details on her apron, look, I mean, it's it's wrinkled. It's, it's incredible. And her shoes. And Baker's Chocolate had the rights to use the image. I looked in that somewhere, I saw it. In 1862, the American Baker's Chocolate Company obtained the rights to use the pastel. So this is, this is what I found, but I didn't dig very far. But I do recognize this image of the, the woman carrying the, the chocolate. I don't know if this is modernized. I, I'd have to look back to see if there's any original images somewhere. But here is the diamond painting that I have been working on. It's a little fuzzy right now. Hold on. Um, so I have been coloring in her apron a little bit and the dress and her corset, her top, whatever, right here. So it's not as much confetti as it was. So this is going to take me a while. And the shoes, the wooden floor, I just love that wooden floor. So the speckles that I was showing you in the painting is creating a lot of confetti here. So I might try to get rid of this green color. What is this? Fern green, very light. And this is beige gray medium. And this is beige brown. You know, this beige brown, very light, beige brown, very light looks pink against the green. But remember, this is a computer generated replica of the colors that you're looking at. So this is, this is where you trust the process. See if I can find that picture again. So, you know, the, the wall does look a little green. And I'm going to work on her bonnet. She's got some pink up here and some white to show the depth and the darker pink here to show the folds. So I like this. And I think people who would like this too would like Old Masters um, and the history behind it because... I got it down to 30 colors, and they're all shades of brown and some green. So some people like diamond paintings for the colors, and some people like diamond paintings for the image. Let me know in the comments what you like. If you like, if you choose the image first, color second, or if you choose the image and want to do the diamond painting because of the image. And this chocolate, this mug containing the chocolate, that's going to take me a while to figure out those details too because I'm going to have to clarify that a lot so that it shows up so that the details show up. See, because right now that doesn't look great. So I definitely get rid of all this confetti around here 
so the colors don't blend with the cup and tidy up the saucer a little bit and make the details so you can tell where the cup and the saucer meet and make them look like two separate objects. This is pretty cool how the, the glass turned out. You can tell it's a glass because you can see the wall through it, which is pretty cool, but I, I wouldn't get rid of that too because it's just a lot. <clears throat> so let's take a look. Let's see. Wait a minute. There's another color here. All right, so it's beaver gray light, beige brown very light, and beige gray medium. So let's see if we can get rid of the beaver gray light and make it the beaver gray medium. Okay, so beaver gray light, 648. We're going to make that what color? I'm going to make 648 be 644. So let's see how that's going to work. So I'm going to make this smaller. I might not be able to do that because there's probably a lot of gray in her skirt. So let's see. So, oh, that's all 648. See, the 648 is going to be here. And if I make it the 644, I don't know how different her dress is going to be. Let's see. So that's 648, and we're going to make it 644. Right here. Okay. How does that look? That doesn't look bad. That's pretty good. And then, what is this color here? Brown gray, very light. Fern green. So, let's see where the fern green is. Fern green is 524. So, 524, if if I decide to get rid of 524 and make that a different color, I gotta make sure it's going to look normal in her in her apron. Maybe let's see. If I do all of this and make this all the all green. No, I can't do that because it's all in her skirt. See, and this is her shadow right here. So I think I'm just going to leave this as it is, and then I'm just going to go through and have to physically change the colors by, by coloring it in a little bit. And I can get rid of this shell gray light over here. Well, let's see how that works, huh? This would be a lot of color blocking if I just poured it in. Now her eyes look a little pixelated, but that's because she's, I've got them oversized right now because, uh,
because I have her enlarged so I can see this. I'm just going to do a little bit here. This will take me a few days. Then I wonder if people would be bored with... Uh, bored with this color, but maybe I could leave some of the confetti in there. So it won't be so boring. I have so much beaver gray. And then I will... After I touch this up a little bit, I will make the image smaller, which will look like we are looking at it from further away, and see how, see how it looks. You know, I like that better. You can see it's more solid color, but there's still a little, there's still a little bit of confetti, but it looks closer to. It, it looks good. It looks like the image, and it doesn't look like I've changed it that much. I think I'm going to like this. And, you know, if you get this, if you decide you want to purchase this painting and you don't want to do all the confetti, you can certainly fill it in with the 648. Because it's just a wall, so it's not you're not going to ruin it by doing by doing that. And also, the light that's coming in from the window that we don't see, that's casting her shadow on the wall, that will explain away some of the some of the coloring in this painting too. The way the light is cast on the wall. So this painting is on the large size because the her face, her face and the cup and saucer and her hands are the smaller details in the painting. So the painting has to be larger so the details of her face and the coffee cup and everything will stand out. All right, let's see what she looks like now. I'm doing this with holding the mouse button on my finger. I should be using an actual mouse. Now, I can't bring this down too much more because I don't want her shadow to be lost. You know what? Isn't it interesting actually that her shadow is right here? You know what? Because her shadow ends here, the window must be above her head and back to her right. The and because this is this shadow here is the top of her head. So would you enjoy diamond painting her or would you not because she is all browns and grays? Let me know in the comments.
and the pinks in her bonnet. I think this is like a shell. Milk brown, milk brown. See, that's that's how the software picked up that pink is the uh, the mocha brown. But if I use the baby pink, it stands out. That's more of a dusty rose, isn't it? So this rose really stands out. That's almost too dark, isn't it? Right, that's a little better. Now let's see, that's really going to stand out, but that's what she's wearing. you think this should be more of a baby pink rather than a rose? Alright, let me know what you think in the comments. I'm nowhere near done with her, but... I wonder if the baby pink would be better. Okay, that's the darker pink, and this is the lighter pink. Do you like this better? It is a little better, isn't it? That is a little better. And then after I get her done with all the colors and everything, then I'll go back and change the symbols. If you're still with me, thanks for watching.